Allow me to share with you what the infamous Paul Dirac once said, and I quote, the measure of greatness in a scientific idea is the extent to which it stimulates thought and opens up new lines of research. Good day. The BSN 3A Group 2B would like to present to you a study entitled The Level of Engagement in Blended Learning Among Nursing Students. I am Natalie Ayle Diarasco, and together with me are Christiana Marie Cruz, Jesse Lloyd de la Torre, Trixie Anna Chavez, and Sweni Iluba. The research study aimed to ascertain how engaged nursing students were with blended learning. It focused on measuring the desire of nursing students for their practice and their perceptions of the nursing curriculum, as well as the quality of hard work put into activities that encourage perseverance and completion, which shall contribute to their level of engagement. This study utilized a descriptive quantitative research design to describe the level of engagement of the participants and utilized the survey method to gather data. The participants in the study were the 282 nursing students of all levels of the local university in the second semester of academic year 2022 to 2023. With the utilization of Sloven's formula, the researchers were able to establish an acceptable sample size from a population with a 5% margin of error. Stratified random sampling was employed to enhance the sample representativeness by categorizing the study population depending on qualities of relevance to the researcher. So this study utilized a standardized questionnaire adapted from Armando P. Delfino with part one demographic profile of nursing students and part two, which are the level of engagement of nursing students in blended learning, which have three subparts of behavioral, cognitive, and emotional engagement. The validity is five using good and skate scale. For the results of the sociodemographic profile of nursing students, in terms of sex, females comprised more than half of the males at 71.99%. For the age, participants with ages 21 to 23 years old garnered the highest rank with 57.45%. Further, it is clearly seen that almost similar figures were noted when the participants were grouped according to their year level though the level 3 comprised more with 28.7%. In terms of their living arrangements, a big gap was seen with 76.60% of participants living at home. More so, when students are categorized by GPA, the majority, 61.35%, had a GPA of 2 to 1.6, and the rest was distributed to other rankings. The item with the highest mean of 3.83, interpreted as very high engagement, was came to class every day, while the item with the lowest mean of 2.35, interpreted as low engagement, was came to class without completing readings or assignments. All in all, the data showed that the average mean score was 3.07, which was interpreted as a high level of behavioral engagement. For cognitive engagement, the highest mean of 3.66 was used in electronic medium to discuss or complete an assignment, which was interpreted as very high engagement. The lowest mean of 2.14 was when to the professor's office hours to review assignments of tasks or to ask questions, which was interpreted as low engagement. Overall, the data exhibited the average mean score of 3.06, which was interpreted as high level of cognitive engagement. For the emotional engagement, data revealed that working with other students on projects during class scored best among its indicators with a mean score of 3.45. On the contrary, the indicator tutoring or teaching other students paid or voluntarily garnered the lowest score of 2.09. Nevertheless, it indicated that university students were highly engaged emotionally with an overall mean of 2.89. When gauged upon the variables in three dimensions, the data revealed that only year level varied significantly with behavioral engagement with its p-value 0.001 falling lower than 0.05. Herewith, the researchers rejected the null hypothesis as there was a significant relationship on the respondents' behavioral engagement when grouped according to year level. Further, the figures were consistent in revealing that only the year level's p-value fell lower than the significance level. The data showed that the cognitive engagement of nursing students in blended learning and year level varied significantly. Be that as it may, the researchers rejected the null hypothesis. The study's result disclosed that only year level had a significant relationship between emotional engagement. It was deduced that on average, different year levels had differences in terms of emotional engagement in blended learning, leaving the researchers to reject the null hypothesis. With the pandemic that caused the transition from traditional to blended learning, 
it had been crucial to understand the student's level of engagement in three areas, cognitive, behavioral, and emotional. The study was able to determine that nursing students were all highly engaged in three domains. Upon gauging the student's level of engagement, only the year level variable consistently demonstrated a substantial relationship between nursing student participation in all three dimensions, revealing that student engagement varies with their year level. The developmental phases of students in different year levels may influence their academic engagement. In outline, Monitoring student engagement may aid educators in enhancing educational achievements, justice, inclusion, and student well-being. In light of the study's findings, the researchers issued the following suggestions. College of, of Nursing Administrators may take proactive initiatives to establish an engaging environment that encourages active collaboration among students. Nursing educators may raise their knowledge on the importance of adopting varied learning strategies that promote student motivation. Nursing students may focus on their goals and be willing to adjust to potential changes in the classroom and in daily life. The parents may be aware of the welfare and motivation of their children towards education, allowing them to come up with a response to provide an enhanced environment for the student. Lastly, the future researchers may use the study's findings as a guide for additional research on the nursing student's engagement in blended learning or other relevant topics. That concludes our study. Thank you.